I'm Mark Fitzpatrick here with Arlo Real Estate. I hope you're doing well. Actually, we're now part of At Properties. That's at the symbol Properties, which has the best tech platform in the industry. And so exciting things to come from that over the next few months. I'll be sharing those with you. This is just my update and uh, just a hello. Hope you're doing well. I know the financial markets have been a wreck. Uh, crypto markets, which are really financial markets, have been a wreck. But uh, things will stabilize and the pristine assets will rise up and hold firm over time. Always believe in that. Some companies get beaten down more and just because they're part of the market, right? But the solid ones will stay firm. Now, what has held firm and actually has risen 9% in this area, real estate. It's done well. So congratulations on your real estate holdings. Those have been the one kind of secure um, asset that's out there and feels good. And it's, um, it's, it's, it helps you to sleep well. So um, I'm going out to look at a couple properties today with someone um, in terms of rental properties because they just want to sleep better. So if that's something that you have on your mind, reach out, let me know. I mentioned this a few months ago, fewer and far between, but we will find them. It just takes some patience. Interest rates, people were asking me about that because inflation. Now, how does this compare back in the early 80s when interest rates on mortgages, right, um, were up near 20%? Well, the 10 year treasuries were at 15.8%, but that was on a trillion dollars of debt, right? We've got $30 trillion of debt. So there's no way they can run that rate up anywhere near that high because wouldn't be able to pay down the debt. So we're in a little bit of a quandary. So I do think there'll be a cap on that, but interest rates in terms of mortgage interest rates um, being affected and getting up towards a 7% level by the year end, I think is definitely possible. So, but prices have still held pretty steady. Um, sales transactions are down a bit, 18% um, from last year. Inventory is up in part, uh, listings are up, but it's still low. Inventory is up because there aren't as many transactions, right? Slower, not like boom, property's gone, boom, property's gone, but they're still going fast. I've seen a number of them not even make it through the weekend. And just two weeks ago, uh, two streets over from me, $158,000 over the list price. So overall, enjoy where you are. If um, there's any changes that you want to make, um, I always tell people right now, you look at it, if you're selling a property and buying a property, you're swapping, right? And depending on upon the property that you're buying, right? There could be some ways if you're going from a house to a condo where you get additional kind of money that you are, are not going from house to house. But whatever makes sense for you, please, it's always about, does this make sense? Not short-term games about where you're gonna live and if it's, a, if it's an investment property, we look at it differently. So anyway, I hope you are relaxed and um, enjoying the hot weather. I hope you have some good plans for Memorial Day weekend. And I hope you'll reach out and let me know how you're doing. Please, please, please always um, send me a message, text me. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, certainly I will be reaching out to many people over the next couple of months. And uh, any way I can help at all, let me know. Take care. Have a great day.